I think you have seen Leonardo da Vinci of wonderful past, the molds. We will talk about his second phase in this part. Leonardo da Vinci, the renowned Italian polymath of the Renaissance era, decided to visit Florence for multiple reasons. Being born in a small town near Florence, he had always felt a strong connection to the city and its artistic and intellectual heritage. In the spring of 1500, Leonardo packed his belongings and embarked on a journey from Milan, where he had been working for the Duke of Milan as his court artist and engineer. The journey from Milan to Florence was not an easy one, as it involved days of traveling across rugged terrains. However, the prospect of being in Florence rejuvenated his spirits. Upon reaching the city, Leonardo was greeted with the bustling atmosphere and the extraordinary architectural beauty of Florence. He quickly settled in a residence in the heart of the city, providing him with easy access to the vibrant cultural life that thrived within its walls. One of the main reasons for Leonardo's visit was to rekindle his connection with the Florentine art scene and engage with his fellow artists. Having left Florence over a decade ago, he eager to share his latest accomplishments and learn from the artistic talents flourishing in the city. Leonardo wasted no time in seeking out old acquaintances and establishing new contacts. He visited the workshops of his contemporaries, studying their techniques and exchanging ideas. Artists such as Sandro Botticelli, Domenico Ghirlandaio, and Filipino Lippi welcomed his presence, recognizing Leonardo's genius and the groundbreaking contributions he had made to the art world. During his time in Florence, Leonardo also collaborated with esteemed scholars and intellectuals who were part of the city's vibrant intellectual community. He attended lectures and engaged in debates, broadening his knowledge and expanding his understanding of various fields, including mathematics, anatomy, and engineering. Apart from his artistic pursuits, Leonardo spent his days exploring the city's architectural wonders, marveling at the grandeur of the Duomo and the Medici palaces. He frequented the city's libraries, immersing himself in books and manuscripts that further fueled his curiosity and thirst for knowledge. Throughout his stay in Florence, Leonardo further cemented his reputation as a master artist and polymath. His interactions with the Florentine intelligentsia and his continued exploration of various scientific disciplines invigorated his creative spirit, leaving an indelible impact on his future works. After spending several months in Florence, Leonardo da Vinci bid farewell to the city that had nurtured his artistic abilities and enriched his intellectual pursuits. Though he would venture out to other great cities in Italy and beyond, Leonardo always looked back fondly at his time in Florence, recognizing it as a pivotal period that shaped his artistic vision and propelled him to even greater heights. One day, however, he met a kind and wealthy man named Lorenzo de' Medici. The de' Medicis were one of the wealthiest and most powerful families in Italy, and they had a dedicated interest in the arts. Lorenzo saw something special in Leonardo and took him under his wing. The de' Medici family became Leonardo's patron, funding his work and providing him with the resources he needed to create his famous paintings and inventions. He was even given access to the Medici's personal laboratory, where he could conduct experiments and explore his curiosities to his heart's desire. With the support of the de' Medici family, Leonardo was able to paint masterpieces like the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper. He also had the chance to explore his scientific curiosity, designing plans for flying machines, submarines, and even robots. Lorenzo and Giuliano de' Medici became the rulers of Florence after the death of their father, Piero de' Medici, in 1469. At the time, Florence was a republic, but the Medici family had significant influence over the city's politics and economy. Lorenzo de' Medici played a significant role in Leonardo da Vinci's life. When Leonardo was a young artist in Florence, he became an apprentice in the workshop of Andrea del Verrocchio, who was closely associated with the Medici family. During his time in Florence, Leonardo worked on several commissions for the Medici family, including a portrait of Lorenzo's uncle, Baroncelli. Lorenzo was also an avid patron of the arts, and he commissioned several works by Leonardo, including a painting of the Adoration of the Magi. Lorenzo recognized Leonardo's talent and intelligence and became one of his primary supporters. He encouraged Leonardo to pursue his interests in science, engineering, and other fields beyond art. 
Leonardo became deeply interested in anatomy, botany, and geology, among other subjects. Lorenzo's patronage and support helped Leonardo establish his reputation as one of the most innovative and creative artists of his time. Leonardo also contributed to the cultural and intellectual life of Florence by participating in philosophical discussions and contributing to scientific advancements. However, despite his close association with the Medici family, Leonardo remained an independent thinker and artist. He would later work for other patrons, including the Milanese Duke Ludovico Sforza. In summary, Lorenzo and Giuliano de' Medici's rule over Florence played a significant role in Leonardo da Vinci's development as an artist, thinker, and scientist. Their patronage and support allowed Leonardo to explore his interests beyond art and encouraged him to become an independent and innovative thinker. Thanks to the de' Medici family, Leonardo's brilliance was able to shine like never before. He became one of the most celebrated artists and inventors of all time, and his work continues to inspire generations to this day. It just goes to show that sometimes, even the most ambitious dreams can be made possible with a little help from someone else. Overall, Leonardo da Vinci's life and legacy have left an incredible impact on the worlds of art, science, and invention. His time in Florence marked a pivotal moment not only for his own artistic career but also for the entire Renaissance movement. From his early works as a young apprentice to his later years as a renowned master, da Vinci's achievements in Florence have helped shape the course of human history. In our next video, we will explore some of da Vinci's most important achievements during his time in Florence, from his iconic paintings to his groundbreaking scientific discoveries. Stay tuned to discover more about this extraordinary artist and inventor.